start from there. So anyway, okay, I need a new box. I'm getting my, I'm getting everything ready. Okay, so I'm Chris King with Pamper Sisters. Um, I make and sell handcrafted artisans, soaps, candles, bath bombs, lotions, body butters, all that stuff that's good for you. All that stuff we need right now to pamper ourselves during this pandemic. A lot of us are working from home. A lot of us are going back to work. This has honestly been a life detour. If anybody's coming to room, sound off where you're coming from. I'm on three platforms right now. I'm on um, Facebook, YouTube, and um, uh, Facebook, YouTube, and I just do a bank, y'all. Oh, uh, uh, Periscope. So if you're in the room, sound off. Hey, Pat, how you doing? So tonight we're going to do um, an infusion of herbs and spices. And the reason why is because um, even though I make and sell handcrafted artisan soaps and candles and lotions, it is a craft for me, a hobby for me, and it is also my business. And one of the ways that I like to um, incorporate my business and my craft together is taking on some soap making challenges. And Amy, Amy has a soap making challenge, a soap, soap challenge right now using um, natural herbs and spices and also um, other colors, and it's a different kind of swirl. I'm going to do the natural, and I'm going to use different um, herbs and spices. So, hey, Elin, how you doing? Hi, Susan. Hi, Lori. So, what I decided to do tonight, this is going to probably be a two or three part because I'm doing the challenge, so I'm going to take you all along on the journey. So, I don't know if I'm going to turn in but the first thing I need to do is I need to infuse some herbs and spices, okay? And so I pulled out my herbs and spices and I thought I would get started um, with that so that I would know what um, swirl I was going to do later, okay? Because it's going to be a tilted swirl, it's going to be layered, it's going to have a feathered look, but I need five colors. And so I was looking at some of my books that I have over the year. Amanda has one where she does a color, a soap color book and um, it's called How to Color Soap. And I pulled out the section on herbs and spices and clays. I also looked at um, Anne Marie of Brambleberry. She has pure soap making and she has colors in there as well. So um, I think I want my soap to be green, blue, yellow, and pink. I have to have five colors, y'all. It has to have five layers. Um, and I will show you that picture when I start making the soap. Right now, I want to get into this, um, the, the slices, um, I mean the, uh, the layers. Okay, so um, purple, pink, and yellow, red makes alkanate mauve, comes from alkanate, and I don't know if I'm saying it right, alkanate, matter root, yellow dock, and red, red and yolk, red and yolk, red and yolk. Okay. So, what I'm going to do is show you the colors. I don't use them often, so they kind of look, the bags kind of look worn, y'all. But I'm going to see if I can show you the colors. Oh, let me move this so y'all don't see. Uh, it won't be a reflection. Okay. Okay. So, this is alkanate root. Okay, see if you can see it. See, and that's supposed to do a purple. Put this over here. Let me set that right there. And then what else is there? It says, I think I have matter root. So let me show you the matter root. Ooh, I don't see how this matter root can come out purple, pink, or red, or mauve, but it says it does. Look, y'all. That's, I don't know if you can see it. See? Okay, and then um, I don't have yellow dot. Okay, so then um, yellow, orange, and peach make an anata seed or paprika or orange peel powder. 
ginger powder and yarrow. Okay, I have a annata seed, and I think I'm gonna use this one only because I've never opened this one. But this is what it looks like, okay? It's kind of neat. I don't know if you can see that. Let me see. Let me see if I can do it. Since it's not dust, it's not powdery substance, I can open this one so you can see, okay? Let's see if you can see that. Okay, so let me know if y'all can see this. Oh, oh, it does make a, 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 a orange. Which one, Susan, makes? Is it the, that makes a pink? Is it the matter root? I see you said it does. Okay, and then I wait while you're doing that. Um, okay, so um, brown or tan is rose hip powder, black walnut powder or cinnamon, chamomile powder, stevia leaf powder, witch hazel powder, and kelp. So you can do a lot. Okay, so here's the black walnut hull. And I never used this one. Well, you can tell that's going to make a pretty brown. You can, I don't even have to take that out. Okay. And uh, did I do paprika? I didn't show y'all paprika. That's the yellow orange. Well, y'all know what paprika looks like. See, that's paprika. It's the bag is busted. Oops. Okay. And oh, here's Moroccan clay. I don't know what color that makes. It's not even on here. Oh, the matter root. Okay. Thanks, Susan. Okay. And I have some comfy and comfy and nettle leaf that makes a green and of course French green clay and then I have indigo and it looks like I've used the indigo a lot because I don't have that much of indigo but this is the indigo it's not that much of it I don't know if you can see it and then wool or wool I don't know if I'm saying it right Wold, like toad, that's how it's spelled, but with a W, that makes a blue. Okay, and then I have, let me show you the other ones I have. Okay, I have, um, I have, um, I have, um, camel, chamomile flower. Okay, and I've used that, okay, but I didn't use it for coloring. I just used it in my bath bombs and um, cranberry fiber, and I've used that, but in my bath bombs, okay, and then I have, um, I have rose hip, let me show you. rose hip makes an orange, and I've used that, but I use that in a facial mask. And then turmeric, of course, you know, and I use that in my soap, my tea tree soap. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I have woe, but haven't tried it yet. I'm curious to what it looks like in soap. Indigo is a weird color. Nettle makes a beautiful green. Okay, that's good to know. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take jars like this, okay? And you can use any jars, but these are what I have. So I'm going to use what I have, y'all. Okay? And I am going to take some tea bags like this. Okay, and I have my iron board here, ironing board here. And I'm going to put two tablespoons in this. And I am going to um, add um, oil, olive oil. And I'm going to fill it up this pot here on low and put water in it and I'm going to infuse it. I'm going to speed it up because I can't wait for it to do it over a couple of weeks. Now, because only five jars fit in the pot, I got to figure out what colors I want because I'm not going to do them all right now. So, I need some interaction here. So let me see who's here so y'all can help me. Okay? Okay. So, as I said, I'm Chris King with Pamper Sisters. I'm working on a soap challenge. And um, I need five colors for five layers. Um, I want green, blue, yellow, pink, and maybe purple. Okay? Um, before I ask y'all 
for help. Let's do roll call so I know who's here. Okay, so Lori, I see you're here. I see Elin's here, Susan, Pat. Okay, and I wish I could see YouTube and uh, Periscope because if they are here, if you're on replay or you play this back later, you feel free to add colors in because I might go back later and do more colors. Okay, so for yellow, Susan says turmeric. Okay? Um, okay, let me give y'all my colors again. And if you need me to call them out again, just say it. I need I need yellow, pink, green, blue, and purple. And I'm kind of up in the air on the purple, y'all. I might do two sh shades of blue. But I need five colors. Okay, so nettle. Okay, Susan said nettle. Okay, y'all better jump in there because Susan's going to pick all her colors. Okay, how can that for the pinky purple? Okay. Okay, I got nettle, alkanet. Okay, uh, Lori said wold. She's interest, interested in that. So let's put, okay, so I got turmeric. Nettle, turmeric, nettle. What about Susan? I have the alkanet root. Would that make a pinky purple? And I have the alkanet powder too. Okay, so I have turmeric, nettle, wold, and on the alkanet. Or what about Annetta seed? Wait, Annetta Seeds makes yellow or orange. Anybody? Okay, I'm going to put, use Wold, okay. Okay, so I got the Wold, okay. And I'm putting the indigo up then. Use the powder, okay, so use the powder on the alkanet, okay. Okay, I have four. I need one more. What about um, Alkanet Seeds? Uh, Annetta Seeds. What do y'all think? I never did Annetta Seeds. Anybody? Okay, let's try it. I mean, if all else fails, it'll just, I'll just have to do this again. Okay, so I have Annetta seeds, wool, alkanet powder, nettle leaf, and turmeric. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put two tablespoons. I can't remember if it said teaspoons or tablespoons, y'all. So Annetta is a pretty bright yellow and orange. Okay, use powder. Okay, so I don't have the powder, I have the root. Is that okay, Susan? And where is the opening on this? Did I seal this already? Let me see. I might have to open this up, take, put some more gloves on because I don't see the opening on this. Y'all, I really don't see the opening. Oh, it's right here. Okay. Okay. Let me put some more gloves on. So, um, Susan, do I, can I use the root? Hi, Deborah. how you doing? We're getting ready to start infusion. So, Susan, is okay if I use the Annetta root? Um, because I don't have the Annetta, uh, powder. If not, give me another, um, oh, the root's, um, takes longer to infuse. Okay. Hey, Lisa, how you doing? Okay, so what we're doing, um, Lisa and Deborah, is I am in a soap challenge. That's what I do sometimes when I want to um, spice up my technique and at the same time try a new, uh, um, you know, just I, I like doing new techniques and, and challenges push me to go where I've never been gone before in soap making. And so I am going to do a natural um, um, 
uh, swirl, twirl, swirl. So this is going to be a two or three part series because first I need to infuse some um, herbs and spices so that I am able to use them for colorant later. And so that's what I'm doing. And Susan, you said roots or seeds. Let me look and see. So I have the, it's the seeds. Is that okay? I'll let you tell me. I'll wait for you to tell me that. I'm going to start using these others. So I'm going to put two tablespoons inside these tea bags here. These tea bags. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add them to this jar. And I'm going to add olive oil in the jar. And then I will place five jars in a pot and fill it with water. And then after that, I am going to let it slowly infuse the, uh, the uh, slowly infuse the oil. And then I will turn around and use the colored oil for my colorant and my soap because I'm making a natural soap. You know, Susan, I was thinking about doing the cinnamon, but I didn't want that color because of the brown. Okay, and then the seeds are good. Okay, good. So that's what I'm going to do. Now, if I don't like these colors, y'all, I will, all of these other ones I, I talked about, I will go back and make them. Like, I'm thinking cranberry fiber might be a pretty nice pink. So I'm going to do two tablespoons of each one. So while I'm getting this ready, y'all, let me just tell you again, I'm Chris King, y'all know, with Pampers Sisters. And several of my friends have recently read my book, Disconnect to Reconnect, and they posted on Facebook saying that this is a good book to read during the pandemic and while they're in. And, I mean, they posted today, un unbeknownst to me, and then several other people started asking me questions and messaging me. You can get this on Amazon. But um, one of my friends that's in North Carolina said this is a good book for this and it touched on and so I decided I will pull it up because you know she messaged me later and she said you know what life detour this pandemic what's going on in the world today is definitely a life detour Chris and who would have thought that you wrote a book a few months released a few months earlier and you touched on it so I marked off life detours just as a reminder to myself and I thought I would share with you and, of course, like I say, I always say, I'm not a therapist, a doctor, a psychiatrist. This is just my take on it. But life detours that a lot of us sometimes don't recognize is stressors caused by life-changing events. And, you know, the pandemic, the coronavirus, is a life-changing event. Whether, whatever your take on it is, we had to adjust because that's what we are told to do. And... Um, Life-changing events, unfortunately, some of the symptoms go unnoticed. We've all been, some of you, I don't know where you're at, if you have to work remotely or if you're on the first line or if you're taking care of someone doing this. But sometimes, with unbeknownst to yourself, you have stressors that are not as noticeable on the outside, but they're, they, they start to take place on the inside like weight gain, hypertension, weight loss, or just uh, plain old not getting enough rest, okay? So just take the time, y'all, to walk the block or find a hobby. Put a crossword puzzle together because let me tell you, life detours can fertilize your life distraction. See, a lot of times, okay, life detours are life-changing events. We have no control over it. It happens, and we have to deal with it. But if we never have dealt with life distractions, which a lot of times are self-induced, you know what life distractions are. They're distractions like little things get to you, the way somebody speaks or doesn't speak, or how you react to a situation, um, um, email overload, you know, running late to work, or visiting in-laws or in-laws visiting you, car repairs, you know, office gossip and gossip, you know, just around the neighborhood. Those are, those are distractions, okay? But life detours is something we can't control. And if we don't deal with life distractions well, 
it's hard to deal with life detours. Now, here's the kicker, y'all. A lot of us are stuck in the house longer than we planned on ever being stuck in the house. And we're alone with more than we care to be with sometimes ourselves. See, y'all thought I was going to say family, didn't y'all? I cracked myself up. Y'all thought I was going to say family or children. But sometimes we're alone longer than we plan on being with ourselves. And sometimes dealing with yourself is your worst enemy, okay, if you haven't had time to deal with yourself. So instead of, you know, like they say, idle mind is a devil workshop, you got too much time on your hands, get busy. Do something. Organize your closet. I know. Uh, you know, uh, redo, redo a room. Um, you know, just do something other than watch the news, okay? Um, I start my morning in worship. I just turn on the music and I give my glory and honor to God. And then from there, I start the rest of my day. Um, I still have to work from home. And I deal with a lot of small businesses that are losing their business and looking for um, other alternatives if they don't get the idle loan or the PPP. And so uh, sometimes I talk them in off the ledge, literally. And so I deal with those, or that's my, that's my, um, my ordeal and crisis. But I had to learn how to disconnect every day and reconnect with myself. And the way I did that was I would make extra soap um, or I would get into these soap challenges. This soap challenge right here that I'm doing, y'all, is so exciting because I haven't did a, a, a soap challenge in a while. I remember when Amy first started these soap challenges, um, I think it's been about five or six, seven years ago when she first started. It was, it was literally only $3. And then she built a following. But it pushed me and it taught me to do other techniques, and that's why I like pretty soaps. And so this going back to my roots doing natural, because I used to only do natural coloring, colorant soaps until I got into the micas and the oxides and all of that and the soap glitter, which I love, okay? But this is pushing me back to my roots and I really, really love it. So let me see who's coming around. Hey, hey Bo, how you doing? So listen, I'm going to do this and let me tell you, there are benefits to spices and I don't really have time to go through all of the herbs and spices benefits because right now I'm just using it for coloring, okay? Because I'm gonna have this five layer soap. So I'm gonna put two tablespoons in each one of these and we are going to, then I'm going to seal it. I have my ironing board over here. I wish I was like Martha Stewart after I put them in here, then I would say, voila, this is the seal one, but I don't have that. I cracked myself up, y'all. Okay, so. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. You know me. I crack myself up. That that's that's my distraction sometimes. I um I really laugh, you know, at some things that other people might not see as funny. Okay, so these are the seeds. Okay, so I'm going to put the seed in this little pocket the minute I open it if it oh you know what we just gonna get another one okay 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 this one's open okay so we're gonna put the seed in here and it's two tablespoons and what I'm gonna do is like I said I want to make a soap layer and it's gonna feather um five levels okay <laughs> you susan susan if i didn't laugh nobody else would right because this is a tough crowd here i see y'all just watching going okay what's she doing next okay so okay so i have the turmeric turmeric is good for inflammation okay that's all i got y'all because i don't know what this other stuff is good for yet okay i don't use it like i use turmeric and nettle leaf nettle leaf is good for um I put that in my, uh, so that's good for inflammation too. I have a con, but I use the nettle leaf. I don't use the, the, the ground. I don't know what, uh, what's this? This is the alkanate powder. I don't know what that's good for. 
Susan, what is that good for? You're good with herbs. Susan has a uh, sells soaps and candles, and she's into herbs. I think she makes you make tinctures, don't you, Susan? No, you don't make tinctures. You make uh, uh, I forgot. I'm sorry. Okay, hold on. Okay, so I got the alkanate. Okay, and for you, Lisa, I'm doing the woe. A woe. It's W O woe. Let's call it. Is it woe? Okay. For you, Lisa, I'm doing the woe. I don't know if I have two, two tablespoons. So you know what I'm going to do. I'm going to pour the whole thing in there. It's all or nothing, Lisa. So if this don't work, okay. The good news is if it worked, I did it right. The bad news is if it worked, I got to order some more. So hopefully it works. I don't have. I don't think it's two tablespoons, so I'm just gonna put all of it in there. Okay, so I got all of the woad, and I don't know if y'all like me, when I run out of stuff, oh, so you do, yes, that's right, you do solves and infusion. Okay, so I put, when I run out, I still put it back in there empty, so I, because if I throw it away, I'll forget. Out of sight, out of mind. Okay, so I have four, so what didn't I use yet? Uh, oh, the comfy. So I'm, the nettle leaf. Did I do nettle leaf? No, I haven't did nettle leaf. Okay, so I'm going to do nettle leaf. Okay, so um, let me do nettle leaf. So, Susan, the nettle leaf is prettier than French clay because um, I was thinking French clay. It's almost the same color. Okay, so here's the nettle leaf. I'm going to do the nettle leaf. Okay, let's do this. Okay, so this is really going to be, y'all, I'm, okay, so let me tell you, I don't consider myself an expert at soap making because there are some out there that have been doing it longer than me. And my grandma taught me how to make it. But um, the challenge is for a regular soap maker and, a, and, and an advanced soap maker. And so the competitive side says, I'm going to pick the advanced soap maker. Well, the advanced soap maker has to have five colors. It has to be all natural. And, it, and that's including essential oils. That's not a problem. But what I didn't like about it, and anyway, it's, it's not my challenge. I'm just going to participate because I want to win. But anyway, what I didn't like about it is that it's um, all natural and you have to have five. I could do, like if I had, was able to use micas, oh man, y'all, you know, micas and oxides, I could really pick some colors. I could pick pink and purple and blue and you know but I'm going to go with this natural because you know natural colors as a as a rule they don't hold that color long but you know so now also with this color I have to decide what fragrance essential oil will match these colors and the only thing that's coming to mind is can y'all see that? No, y'all can't. Okay, you can see it now. The only thing that comes to mind is uh, lemongrass. That's the only thing that comes to mind, and I don't just want a lemongrass. So, do you have any suggestions? Okay, y'all, one suggestion is Chris needs to plug in the iron. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I cringe. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> okay, so I, I can I can shoot the breeze for a second, y'all, because the iron needs to get hot. Oh man. Some say Michaels are natural because they come from the earth. Yes, um, and um Amy did talk about Michaels being natural. But, 
it's it's a debate and so to keep it all she just said herbs and spices so okay so let me see if the iron is hot now yeah it is okay so I have see I'm making it it's a tea because I make teas too that's why I have these tea bags okay so let me make that okay this is going to be interesting now usually you can do this and you can let it infuse for uh, two to four get up like I'm doing because I have no patience and I need them for the okay so I have my five okay so let me put this away and let me unplug the iron because just like I took a while to plug it in no I don't have sandalwood Um, just like I took a while to plug it in, I would forget and then I would burn myself and then I wouldn't be cracking myself up. I'd be crying. So, and y'all, I don't cry pretty. I'm going to let y'all know that now. If you know anything about me, you know, I don't, I do not cry pretty. I don't even try to cry pretty. When I'm in pain, I'm in pain. Just like the other day when I was outside in my garden, some ants got on me. Oh my God. It was probably just one ant bite, but I felt like it was a lot. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place this down in the jar. Let's just do it like this, okay. Okay, do y'all see what I'm doing? Okay, let me see. Uh-oh, somebody's out. Uh-oh, Houston's out, y'all. Okay, so then I'm going to pour um, olive oil. Okay. In here, I'm going to pour olive oil in here and olive oil in this one. So I'm pouring it in each one of these so y'all can see what I'm doing. Okay, and so what I'm going to do is, after I pour the olive oil in, I'm going to fill, put them in this thing, uh, this pot over here and um, add water to it. And then um, I guess later this week I'll do a quick video or I will take, yes, I can use uh, essential oils. Um,